So today I'm going to do a first impressions video. I am first impressions video. My bad. I'm going to give the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer a try, the Hourglass Iridescent Strobe Light Highlighter, and the 35G Bronze Goals Morphe Palette. So, oh, and one more thing the Too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliner. I have not played around with any of these yet before. I'm just swatching of the Hourglass in store and the Too Faced and playing around with this um, in store also. So um, I'm very excited to give all these products a try for me and I hope everything goes really well, which you'll find out later in the video. Um, what I didn't like, what I liked, you know, the advantages and disadvantages of everything. So let's just dive right in. So my eyebrows are done and we're ready to roll. I'm going to prep my eyes with a little bit of the MAC Pro Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. Um, I'm not really putting on too much um, because this shadow I should not have. No worries. Of staining so this is merely here to help make it last a whole lot longer I just don't need a whole bunch okay so we're going to give the um, Morphe 35G Bronze Goals Palette a try here today. Um, here it is. There are the shades. And just in case you didn't see my haul where I got this. So, um, I think I'm going to start with the shade. Sandy, which is the first matte on the um, top row. I need a mirror. Let's try this. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe M504 brush. I'm just going to go straight into the crease to give it a uh, nice transition color to help blend the other ones out. So this will more than likely be a everyday kind of look you can produce um, since there are not any um, crazy colors in here. Um, so you could wear this to work, you could wear it on a day, you can wear it out to the mall, movies, any kind of anywhere. It's just going to be kind of easy going light, testing out a few of the colors, um, mostly the mattes, because I'm and tend to stick to those quite a lot. Um, I am just blending this shade out towards my brow bone, not all the way up, but just enough up and getting enough color, but not making it way too dark also. Next, I'm going in with my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH32 brush. I'm going to go in with the only shade in the second row from the top, the only matte shade. Sorry. And I'm going to go right into the crease. 
crease of this to darken it, to deepen it, not darken, well darken, deepen, make it a little bit more um, depth on my eye, kind of drawing it out just a little bit. Um, I'm not going all the way into the corner either, so. And then just blending it right out onto the other shade. So I did switch up my background. I decided instead of facing my bare wall, we would face my desk. Uh, the light kind of seemed a little bit better and it wasn't straight into my eyes either. So it helps prevent me making any kind of mistakes or um, going blind when the sun comes directly into the room and I totally butcher something. That would not be fun. But I've done it before, so it wouldn't be the first or the last time I've had to fix a lovely mistake from the sun getting in my eyes. That and I also, I really don't want a migraine today, so on that topic, if I do miss a day of uploading, odds are it is from a migraine day. I am a chronic migraine sufferer, so I do tend to get moderate to severe headaches throughout the month. Um, I don't really know how to best explain it. They just kind of happen. It's been a real stressful day or a stressful night and I didn't get or didn't get enough sleep or I didn't get enough caffeine or I didn't get enough water in me. I mean there's tons of reasons why. Um, I get them. Um, I can't really prevent it. There's nothing I can do about it so I apologize. I will try to upload the next day if I miss a day. So if I miss Friday, I will upload Saturday. And if I miss Wednesday, Thursday. Now some days they do tend to come for two days. So I do apologize if I just miss one whole day completely that week. Okay, so next shade is I'm going to think I'm going to go in with the second, the first shade on the second to bottom row. Um, we're going to give that a try. I am just going to stamp that right out in the inner, outer, not the inner, on the outer corner. Um, blending it up. I'm using my M433 brush and going little by little. I'm not trying to go in heavy handed with it. Um, this is um, probably not a color to do that with. This these shadows are actually really impeccable. I'm kind of surprised. I was watching some reviews and they're like, "Well, it's really crusty and really dusty. You need to, you know, wipe off the first layer of the uh, shadows to get it to work. They don't blend. It's really dusty. I mean, I've not seen a problem with them just yet. Maybe." I just got lucky and I don't have those kind of problems but I mean everyone gets a different palette they're not all pressed the same got enough of everything in it I mean you're gonna get some that are gonna come out botched that's just a part of life I mean we can't really fix that so you kind of just have to roll with what you get don't really throw a fit either I mean it's not really worth it in my opinion so just kind of go with the flow as best as you can okay so I'm gonna go to my M518 I'm gonna take the first matte shade I used and I'm going to kind of blend this edge out on this side it just didn't go so where go very well on that side I'm gonna kind of do the same on this side 
Um, my one trouble with is one eye has more creases in it, so I get these like little imperfections inside the my eyeshadow where it kind of looks like I missed a couple creases. Um, no, I didn't miss it. That's just my eye. I do my best to try and hide it. Um, my kind of trick for that, which is what I'm about to do, is I take the uh, Jaclyn Hill 37 brush. And then I just kind of, nothing's on it. And I just kind of sit here and I move it back and forth until it kind of blends out um, that's just a problem I've always had with my eyes there's nothing I can really do about it um, so I just kind of learned a mess I learned to deal with it in my opinion so it's not that big of a deal I'm going to take the J no the M506 brush I'm going to go in with the last matte shade in the second to bottom row and I'm going to just put a little bit in the crease here I mean just the tiniest amount I really didn't pick up a whole bunch there just add that nice little area there to the little outer corner to be a little bit darker Okay, now that I got that, let's take that M518 brush again and kind of work the edges. I don't want any kind of harsh lines. Alrighty. That looks good to me. Okay, I'm not really going to do a cut crease today. I don't really have time for that. Um, this is kind of a quick get together. That's why I only use, I think, a total of four matte shades. So, let's see this is. I think I'm going to take the shade Glow On on my index finger here and I'm going to this doesn't really come up very well on your finger so we'll see how this shade goes I might not be using it so we shall see but I don't like it so I'm gonna go in with the first shimmer shade on the second and last row that's got more of a punch to it thank you focus camera all right I like that better so my other finger, I'm going to go back in with this on the other side. This can be applied by a dry brush if you want. You can use this and some Fix Plus on a flat brush. Um, I prefer my finger just because I feel like with my oily skin, the Fix Plus and the shimmer with my brush just don't really hold up as well. We can kind of be pretty slacking in pigment like halfway through the day so not really here for that right now. Alrighty. We've got that on. I do kind of like it. It's not that bad. It's not really orangey. It's more bronzy so that works for me I will add a highlight to the inner corner when I am done with everything the next thing that I'm going to give a try today is the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner I'm a little worried about it but we'll see um, 
I've heard somewhere it says it says like it, no tugging. It should be a smooth glide on. I've heard people go, well, it tugs. So we're about to find out on camera if that actually happens. So let's see. So far, so good. I'm gonna do a small wing. Okay, so that actually was really nice and smooth. It did miss a little bit up top, but that's okay. Overall application is really, really nice. Um, I do like it. So, A plus. Most liners I kind of have to pull and it'll tug on my skin, which kind of sucks. But man, all right. So I do this eye backwards because of my me being a right-handed person. So it is good for this one. It does tug when I'm having to turn it, so. I give it I can give it a B plus I mean it's a little rough to do with your opposite eye but I think maybe if I work with it just a little bit more it should be better I don't have any new mascara I'm trying so I'm just gonna go in with the tart Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I will not be applying falsies today because it's just too hot here in Kentucky for that. It's like rain one day, decent weather. Now it's going to be blistering hot. And I'm pretty sure it's going to start raining again after. So, yep, I'm kind of stuck. So I got this during the Be uh, Ulta Beauty's 21 Days of Beauty. Um, it was one of my favorite mascaras until I used their man eater mascara so um that one is by far my favorite one uh, i just left that at home i believe so i will have to hunt it down um that one just provides more volume for me than this one this one's more lengthening i could get a good combination of both of them i would totally be buying it instead of having to use two mascaras this other side here.
a tip that I have learned that if you get your mascara on your eyeshadow, um, just take a spoolie, a spoolie brush, okay, and lightly pull at it once it's all the way dry, and it will just come right off. Um, I have no new tight lining matte, um, eyeliner, so we're just going to go in with the Stila Job Smudge One Kajal liner. I'm just going to line the, la the bottom lash line. I tend to not do the upper. It's just not something I have quite mastered yet. I have not even mastered. I'm not going to apply it on other people. I can't apply it on myself. I have not even mastered the bottom one. It still bothers me. Alright. Let's continue on. I am going to go off camera. Finish my face. We'll come back and test out a new highlighter and a new bronzer. And we'll be set and good to go for the rest of the day. Okay. So... I am all powdered up, set, and ready to go. Foundation, concealer. Now I'm going to give the Too Faced ah, ah, Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer a try on the JHO2 brush. Tap that off. Whoa, where did it go? There we Oh wow. Okay, so it looks a whole lot darker there than it does on here. Oh, actually, how it looks really good on the skin. Maybe that's just a camera effect. I will totally be patting this down quite a lot. Then I'm going to take just a little bit of the on the JH06 brush. Okay, go up here. Okay, so what I tend to do once I am done bronzing because most bronzers are way too dark for me, I go back in with my foundation sponge and just lightly pat over it. That didn't do too much for me. I didn't have enough on there, apparently. Okie dokie. Let's just put a little on the back of my hand and pat that out around my hand and then go on my face.
Okay, that's gonna have to work for me. And then um, the new other thing I'm going to give a try is I bought some of the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous in person. Um, definitely something that I am excited to try. I'm going to take my Jeffree Star JS4 brush. Just lightly pat in there and let's go and see what it does. That's really pretty on the skin. Holy cow. It's really light, but it gets the job done. Okay, so there is that. That is really pretty and went on really smooth. I am not a big fan of what's going on on my face. So, um, definitely did not like that Too Faced bronzer. It's definitely not for me. But I'm going to make it work. I kind of have a new, new, no I really don't know that. JK. I'm going to just top this off with the Morphe Frolic Lip Gloss. simple as can be and then put a little bit of mascara down below sorry that is it for today so overall I really did like the Morphe Morphe palette the hourglass highlighter is gorgeous and I mean absolutely stunning the better than sex eyeliner will probably become a staple into my everyday makeup the um, Too Faced bronzer I need to probably use with a different brush, maybe, that's my problem, or um, try and work at it a little bit more, but I really did not like it whatsoever, but that's just my personal opinion. Also, I think the shade was just a little too dark for me. I am really pale, so any kind of matte shades are hard for me to try. So, that is the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed my first impressions video, and I will see you all next time. Mwah.